sisters, James Charles here on Cat Sketches YouTube channel, turning into, well, just an everyday look of myself. If you guys do not know who James Charles is, sister, where have you been? James Charles was known for having his high school senior photos with the blinding highlights, full face and makeup, looking snatched. He then got a deal with CoverGirl, and he's been exploding with fame on the internet and on YouTube and Instagram ever since. What I really love and appreciate about James Charles is he works nonstop to the bone to really stay relevant and famous. And if you know me, I love people that work hard for what they have. And if you hear me saying sister a bunch in this video, it's because James Charles is known to say sister. His fans are known as sister because you're going to hear it a lot. So let's get started with the makeup transformation of turning into sister James Charles. So to begin transforming to Sister James Charles, you need to put on a wig cap because I don't know if you have Luscious hair by James's. Once you have your wig cap on, I'm gonna be using a large cleft chin prosthetic today and some prose to slap that on my face. I am just sizing up the chin where I need to put this prose adhesive. Then with a disposable sponge that was cut in half, Sister's going to put on that fake chin, making sure it's in the right spot and that the seams don't fold in on themselves. Then we're gonna get some liquid latex with what I would prefer a red stipple sponge because it really mimics the texture of our skin. The little butt part of the chin is a little lower than Sister James Charles. It's a lot more cuter than this one, but this is all we have, so we're just gonna work with what we have, Sister. As you see, I am just stippling the edges with the liquid latex, and I'm gonna do a layer of prosade stipple. So once you have all those layers on your prosthetic all dried, we're gonna moisturize our face with some lotion because Sister doesn't like a dry, cracky, textured skin surface. And I'm gonna get some spear gum to put on my nose because we are gonna build a fake nose. Getting my Ben Nye nose and scar wax, I'm getting a ball of it and then shaping it into this little tip because Sister James Charles has this cute button nose that's a different shape than mine, so I'm trying to recreate that with this piece of wax, smoothing down the edges. I have more of an Asian nose and it's more flat to my face, so I'm trying to make it look like James's. Then I'm getting some flexible sealer once that nose and scar wax is on. Now it's time to get our mauve packs paint to put on our prosthetic. The reason why we're putting on this red orange color before a skin tone on this prosthetic is because it's gonna make it look more realistic, like there's blood flow underneath our skin of our fake chin and not that we just slapped on a fake piece onto our face. Sister wants to look all natural and not totally fake even though it's gonna look like I got a little bit of work done of a chin implant maybe after this. I'm making sure that layer is completely dry before moving on to my flesh tone color of Pax Paint over that foam latex prosthetic. You really wanna make sure she's a full coverage sister. Once that is completely dry, I am going to get some makeup primer. I like to focus a pore smoothing primer on the tops of my cheeks where I have enlarged pores and on my forehead. And then I go in with a second primer because I'm a high maintenance sister and put it on the rest of my face. Then I'm going with a color correcting palette because sister does not get much sleep and she's hard working and I have some under eye bags. Speaking of James Charles and his campaign with CoverGirl, I'm using my CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation today because it's one of my all time favorites for prosthetic makeup characters. Even though we're turning into a real human and not a full blown character. I love this foundation because she could go medium to full coverage. I'm using my Morphe E7 brush to use James at checkout because I don't have a code. You welcome James. But I love this brush because it could go definitely full coverage and it just lays the foundation so evenly and smoothly. I'm making sure to really pack on that foundation around that chin prosthetic to give a full coverage layer and around my nose. And then I blend it out more around the edges of my face and my neck. Once your foundation is laid, we're gonna go in with our Tarte Shape Tape or a full coverage concealer of your choice. Maybe you don't need full coverage, but I do, sister. So we are gonna put that on our eyes and our under eyes and blend it out with a brush because I have eye allergies and doing it this way makes my eyes not water. And I'm putting some more concealer around my nose and areas that have redness, especially on my chin where my real skin meets that fake chin. 
Then I'm going in with a lighter concealer. I know this is a lot, but I have some sinkage on my under eye bags, and this is gonna make the light reflect so it doesn't look like my eyes are sinking into my face like an owl from not getting enough sleep. And we're gonna powder her down with some Laura Mercier translucent powder, a cult favorite on YouTube, and I'm powdering around my nose and areas that I crease. Now it's time to contour our cheekbones, or lack thereof, to the gods and heavens. I am getting my Fenty Beauty Contour Stick. Carving out the cheekbones that I wish I had that James Charles definitely has. Amazing cheekbones, but I don't. On both sides of my face, and I'm putting it up in my temples to my hairline. I know this looks super extra, and it makes me look dirty and gross at first. But trust me, sister, we are going to blend her out with a beauty blender. Not a knockoff. We're using the original Beauty Blender for Sister James Charles. Putting even more definition and contour into those cheekbones she's putting work in. And I'm even putting it on my jawline. Make sure she's all blended, sister, before getting our Mayron palette. If you're ever doing character makeup, this stuff is worth it. And I'm using one of the contour shades to contour my nose, sister, to make it look snatched. I can't make it look as amazing as James Charles's edited pictures, but we're trying. Once you're done contouring your nose, maybe for a few years, we are going to get our highlight powder. This is my favorite contour highlight powder from Morphe. I'm getting the lightest matte highlight powder from it, and I'm putting that under my under eyes. And I'm putting it on the bridge of my nose and a little bit on our chin as well, and on my cupid's bow because sister james charles doesn't have as large and in charge of a cupid's bow lip as i do you definitely want to look at reference pictures of james charles for this but i've been seeing a lot of pictures of him glammed out at events where he has natural ish makeup so i'm just gonna put some contour in the crease of my eyelids here and that highlight powder from my morphe palette on my brow bone we're not done with that Morphe contour and highlight powder palette. This is the 9C palette because I'm gonna get the contour shade and put it on my forehead like very heavy and on the sides of my cheeks. We're really trying to reshape our face to not look like a tomato and make it more elongated. And I'm contouring the sides of my neck as weird as that is. And I rarely see Sister James use a really bright blush so I'm using a neutral one which is exposed by Sister Tarte Cosmetics. And I'm using my favorite highlighter. This is Flexitarian by ColourPop. Putting it on my cheekbone, but the tip of my nose, the bridge of my nose as well, on his brow bone in the inner corner. Can't not forget that. Put a little bit on my chin as well, making sure those cheekbones are popping. Before getting our Laura Mercier translucent powder and blending in that forehead contour just a little bit more. Now it is time for what I feel like is one of the most challenging parts of this makeup transformation is trying to draw on Sister James Charles' eyebrows. I say it's challenging because I have barely any brow hairs, so I really have to be creative here. <laughs> what I do is I get an angled brush and I use my Poise Cosmetics multitasking creams and I go for a color at first that's a dark brunette color. And I really carve in the shape of these eyebrows and fill them in just as a first layer. I say first layer because I go with an even darker brunette color. Not quite black, but a deep chocolate brown cream color from the same Poise Cosmetics multitasking cream palette. And I do brow like hair strokes inside of that outline of the brows that we did first. Then what you wanna do is you wanna get a spoolie and put it on the top front part of those brows and then get a brow pencil. This is the L'Oreal Studio one to really do some brow hairs in the middle because Sister James Charles has those snatched Insta brows. And then I'm gonna get my Tarte eyeliner and put a drop shadow line where your bottom lashes are. Getting a liquid eyeliner and then we're gonna do a little sister cat eye, a very tiny one, nothing too extravagant because we're gonna put some gigantic lashes that's going to act like blinds and completely cover any type of eyeliner look you did. But depending on what lashes you have, you could do your eyeliner as crazy and big as you want. I'm just really trying to make my eyes look like James Charles. I'm going to curl my eyelashes to prepare for some sister lashes and put some mascara on the top and heavily on the bottom lashes as well. And we're gonna put some eyeliner on the top lash line. Sister James Charles rarely puts it on the waterline. 
before getting my favorite gigantic eyelashes. These are the Be Bella Wonderless lashes. Then getting my Ofra liquid lip. We're using a mauve pink sister situation. Overdrawing my Cupid's bow a little bit and my lip even more. We're putting that as a first layer and then we're gonna do a ombre situation sisters with a little bit of a lighter liquid lip color over it. And make sure it's all blended in just a little bit of an ombre. Now it's time for the wig. I got this wig off Amazon. It was too light of a color, so I sprayed her with some black hairspray over it to make it look more brunette like Sister James Charles, and I hope it looks like him. And with that, we're completely done with our Sister James Charles makeup transformation today. I hope you guys enjoy this. James Charles is one of those people I have always wanted to collaborate with because he doesn't just do beauty makeup. He does avant-garde looks. He dips into a little bit of body painting sometimes. And I really appreciate such a creative and hardworking sister. Let's just pretend that this is my pinkity drinkity because I didn't have one that day because I forgot, even though sister's drinking a ginger ale. And I'm not forcing you or pressuring you to share this on all the social medias to him. You honestly don't have to, but it'd be so incredibly great if you saw it only because I work so hard on these and it would mean a lot to me. And since Sister James Charles is so known for snapping the most legendary pictures for his Instagram, I decided to snap a few. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you do, oh my gosh, this makeup transformation, it'd be crazy, or any makeup transformations from my YouTube channel, please tag me on Instagram, hashtag catsketch. I would love to see all your creations. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. More videos to come. I hope to see you back here. Now it's time to transform back into myself from Sister James Charles. I hope you guys didn't mind me saying sister about a million times. All the products I use in this video will be listed down below. Remember, if you're using heavy duty prosthetics and adhesives for makeup effects like I am in here, to use isopropyl mirror stick to remove them, you don't wanna rip liquid latex off your skin because it damages your first layer of skin. Just a little FYI. Leave me a comment down below on what other YouTuber or movie character you would love to see me turn into. I definitely need some more movie characters. I have some ideas, but I love hearing from you guys. Thank you guys so much again for watching. I will see you back here on this channel. There's so many great things coming up ahead. And I will see you guys in the next video. Love you all. Bye, sisters.